Are there emerging treatments patients should know about? Um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of really exciting things going on in CLL right now. And CLL is a disease that, you know, it's been completely transformed in the last five to 10 years and, you know, is poised to do so again. So, you know, I mentioned these therapies that we use for frontline treatment. There's clinical trials now combining them together. So, you know, these agents work so well on their own. Are they going to be even better if we add them together? Um, there's also newer targeted therapies, different targets that we are finding increasingly important in CLL, um, as well as a, a modality called CAR T cells, which most people have heard of, um, where we take patients' own T cells, modify them in the lab, then give them back uh, with the goal of getting those cells engineered to kill CLL cells. The, these are all things that are not ready for prime time in CLL yet, um, but are available in clinical trials. And um, I think one other thing I'd really like to um, put a plug in for is clinical trials in CLL, because you know, right now we're at a point where our therapies are really very good, um, but if people just do those treatments, we are never going to figure out which one's the best or figure out for specific types of patients which treatment is the best. And so, you know, I, st I advocate that any of my patients who are eligible for clinical trials should consider them um, because, you know, that's how we make progress in the disease. Kind of from an altruistic sense, that's how we make things better for everybody. That's, you know, one way a patient can think about it. But more personally than that, um, being in a clinical trial gives somebody the opportunity to get a treatment that they otherwise wouldn't get that might be better than our standard of care therapies. Dr. Wack, as a researcher in the field, why are you hopeful? Um, I, I'm so hopeful in CLL because there is just so much that we're learning every day about the biology of the disease, about specific mutations and other you know, genetic factors that are important and really can be targeted by new drugs. Um, you know, paralleling our understanding of the disease, um, there are also is, are many more techniques to make these targeted therapies that, you know, kill cancer cells selectively while sparing normal cells and making our drugs even more tolerable. Um, and I think, you know, both the targeted therapies like this, you know, and the, you know, potential of combining them, figuring out um, sequences that are best, um, but then also these newer modalities where we actually get the immune system involved, like the CAR T cells, they're making CAR and K cells now, and just lots of other strategies that, that could be used together with targeted therapies to, you know, hopefully cure the disease.